What are you building? A tornado. A tornado? Yeah. Really? And tornadoes can like knock down big buildings and pick up people and make them really dizzy. Are you dizzy? <laughs> no, I'm spinning on the scale. <laughs> When are you going to start working on cars with Dad? Uh, tomorrow? Tomorrow? Tomorrow's Saturday, buddy. Yeah. You know Dad doesn't work on Saturdays. How are we, guys? Well, I'm very glad to let you guys know these are my new cells. They're 300 amp hour Lyshen cells. Now, these actually measure out to be exactly the same size as what they were before they became pregnant. <laughs> um, and they're 280 amp hours, and these are 300. So, yeah. Uh, now what I've done is I've been listening to a few people's comments on the um, lithium pages on Facebook, and what they've said is if everything is the same, when you get the cells, they're all well balanced when you first get them, even though they may be reasonably discharged. Um, just stick a BMS on them and charge them up quicker that way, and then top balance them after that. I've also got another one of those cheap 300 amp hour BMSs, um, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to use the one I've already set up. This one's going to be used for stress testing those rubbish cells basically i'm going to put them under some stupid loads i want to see what happens to them really may as well make the most of me so yeah we'll stress the hell out of them as well possibly in this video and uh i'm just going to top balance these ones and build them into a battery Got the battery box there now that battery box um fits the cells in quite nicely and I'm not gonna listen to what anyone else says about their <laughs> their um, opinions on how it goes in the box or any of that sort of rubbish. I'm gonna stick them in there, have that BMS in there as well. I'm not gonna use a dally. I'm gonna use one of these. And the reason for that is we will see later on in the testing of high discharge current through that BMS that BMS doesn't really get hot enough to be worried about in there so that was the only thing I was worried about a Dali BMS obviously works well but yeah um these cheap Chinese no brand ones on eBay seem to do the job as well so I'm quite impressed with them alrighty alright now we're charging with about 30 amps right now, 20 amps from one charger, 10 amps from the other. We'll come back when they're not pregnant, hey? I'm gonna make sure they don't, because they're going through a BMS. <laughs> uh, I've gotta be lighthearted about it, hey? You gotta make fun of yourself every now and again, especially when you think there's nothing you could have done that could have caused that. But yeah, everyone makes mistakes, so. All it took was bumping that charger. <laughs> Won't make that mistake ever again. Cells are down here. They're not going to be sitting on top of that toolbox anytime soon. I can get to the toolbox anytime I need. Alright, the last top balance. Use the BMS to get them right up there and now just doing the last little top off. After that I'll let them sit for about a day or two I reckon. Okay guys, those cells have been balanced and as you can see I've assembled them in the case. Now it's just a 200 amp hour case but with 300 amp hour cells. The 200 amp hour case is obviously for, normally for lead acid and they're 160 bucks on eBay, brand new. As you can see, I've just pre-assembled everything. Um, I'm not too sure I'm gonna put the BMS yet. Probably gonna stick it to the top. 
Now I've just used tons of Sikaflex all the way around, separating the cells, making sure they're not rubbing on each other and making sure it's not a direct contact with the base of the case as well. And uh, yeah, I've used tons of it. <laughs> um, used half a tube yesterday, putting it all together. I didn't film it, I just wanted to try and lay it out as best as I could. I'm using that other BMS, but I've also made it so that I can actually uh, remove this BMS and put another one in later if I want to. Um, put a nice big fat cable in here. Um, yeah, quite happy with that. Might test it later and uh, we'll see what, what we pull out of it. Um, I'm just going to top it up for now and see how we go. As you can see it's dropping quite dramatically so I don't think it needs much of a top up at all. And the balance light is on. Yeah that's dropping off quite quickly. That's good. Okay as you can see we're just just coming up in voltage. There's a little bit of current going in there. Just gonna I'll calibrate the zero current in a second. So there is a little bit still going in there. Wait for it to top out. Be completely charged up and then uh, we'll uh, start the load test. Okay, calibrate. Yep. Synchronized to 100%. Yep. Go back. And we are ready. Well, let's see how long that takes, eh? Slowly getting there. going for seven hours all right I'm just sticking some voltage back onto the battery to turn it back on but we pulled 280 amp hours before as you would have seen in the screen record don't know why deepest discharge is showing up as 275 it's a bit off but yeah so those cells actually must be 280 amp hour Lysian cells when I was sold when I was told when I bought them they were 300 amp hour cells so I'll be having a chat to the seller about that but I'm still happy I don't mind <laughs> I'll just be having a chat to the seller about it and uh, yeah then I'll have the other new cells coming soon but yeah I'll get some charge back into that battery and seal it all back up because there's been no problems with the BMS at all no heat nothing so I'm gonna stick it to the roof of the battery up here not too sure how I'm gonna stick it maybe Sikaflex as well nice cushioning I'm gonna lather it on I'm not gonna be um, skimp with it at all I'm just gonna lather it on vibration proof <laughs> So, yeah, that's not too bad. Alrighty guys, different day, different test. These are the batteries I was talking about that I got off eBay that uh, I believe are not living up to their capacity. Now, they were very inconsistent when I was doing capacity tests originally, but I thought I may as well throw them in and they've been in there now for a, a very long time. I, don't quote me on it, I think it's for 400 and something days. I'll um, just do a quick test, have a look on my Renogy DC-DC charger because they've got um, memory in them actually. I'm actually quite a way off. <laughs> don't know if the camera is picking up on that. Um, 514 days since I set, did this setup in the camper trailer. So they've been in there quite a long time. Um, yeah, it's actually interesting going through the stats on here, but 
might go through that in a further video but we're gonna see what the degradation has been since being in there for 514 days and uh, yeah I'll um, show you the brand of battery that is on eBay claiming proper um, amp hours but not actually living up to their name so and then we'll probably dig into it in a further video and actually dig these apart because I've got a better home for them well I just went to throw some charge in them and they're already completely topped up so oh well, that's easy we'll start doing capacity tests much sooner than I expected all right synchronized to 100 percent calibrate to zero amps ready to go I'm doing a load test eh? I don't know guys, I think it's going to be a very quick test. Just going to head off to the park, I bet you by the time we get back from the park it's probably going to be dead. It's supposed to be 100 amp hours. Reckons it's at 26% and it's only done 49.3 amp hours. It's not crash hot is it? But I did expect that. And we'll do the next, we'll do this one as well after. And see what they pull. What are you doing over there? Did you just fall over? Yeah. Silly. <laughs> Sorry about the flickering again, guys. Okay, synchronized to 100. Right. Back at 100. Connect our load. There we go. Let's try that again, eh? Oh, surprise, surprise, there, guys. Same as last time, 53.2 amp hours, and that's for both of those two batteries. Each one 53 amp hours basically. Same thing happened last time. So between two batteries, it's actually 100 amp hours, and, you know, about 106, and they're supposed to be, literally supposed to be 100 amp hours each. But they're gonna go to a good home. And uh, yeah, I've just finished building that battery, the 280 amp hour one, and uh, can't wait to get that sorted. So, we're gonna abuse these batteries in the next video, I think. Those pregnant cells. Oh well, hope you enjoyed the test. And here is the type of battery. See them all over eBay. These are the dodgy ones guys. Don't grab them. They're literally half the capacity and over 500 days. One thing I do have to say that's going for them is they're ex still exactly the same capacity as when I put them in when I did the original tests. So I'm not surprised to be honest. But that's the ones. Moby. Do not get them guys. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the watch. And just to finish the video off, I'm showing you what I did to the patrol. I put a changeover relay in line with the solar panel. So when the car's idling now, the DC-DC charger will push in close to 30 amps with the changeover relay activated. And the reason that that happens is because with this old beam, when I turn that off, as you can see it drops back down to around 14 15 amps so that's because it's the DC DC charger has realized ah oh, there's a solar panel actually connected so when I hook up the changeover relay and turn it on it thinks as you can see it thinks that the solar panel is no longer connected 
it's just full current from the alternator. Handy little mod to do to DC DC chargers if you don't want them cutting half the power. How are we guys? Here's my pregnant cell battery. <laughs> so just whacked this together. As you can see it's very rudimentary. It's got the pregnant cells in there. Um, it's only just slapped together and we're going to do a bunch of tests. I just wanted to have it in a box so it was safe to move around and much easier to carry basically. Um, moving around those cells the way they are. I just wanted to stick it in a battery box. This battery box is another one that I got off eBay. Um, one that I've actually got 300 amp hour cells coming from China for so I'll be building that one but this for the time being will just be how we carry around those cells so we'll be carrying out some high discharge testing with this battery um, basically I'm just gonna see what happens hey um, we'll put that little Chinese BMS in there as well see how that handles it and um, yeah see what happens see if anything um see if anything remarkable happens to these pregnant cells as i, I remember from our previous video got 252 amp hours out of them so it'll be interesting to see what they pull at a high discharge rate so we're going to see what that little bms is can push out because the bms supposedly is rated to 300 amps now i'd love to see that out of these cells but I don't think you're supposed to push them past 280 anyways and while they're pregnant <laughs> who knows what you can actually push out of them oh well, let's have a look and see what happens there eh? 